It's Putin's war and not the Russian people's war. That's what the Russian journalists said who risked jail by protesting the war. Ukrainians continue to resist the invasion, rejecting an ultimatum today to lay down their arms and surrender. Well, Russian troops are stalled. Fears continue to mount that Putin will become more and more ruthless in an attempt to pound Ukrainians into surrender. Dale Hurd brings us the latest. As the Russian invasion stretches into day 26 and may have stalled, Russia has upped its attacks against non-military targets. In the southern port city of Mariupol, leaders rejected a Russian ultimatum to surrender today. Local officials say an airstrike destroyed a school where hundreds of people were seeking shelter. We've seen um, deliberate targeting of cities and towns uh, and civilians uh, throughout in the last uh, several weeks. In the capital of Kyiv, Ukrainian officials say this missile strike destroyed a shopping mall, killing at least one person. CBN's George Thomas in Kyiv. This was last night's Russian missile attack on the Metroville Mall uh, here uh, in the northwestern part of the city. Uh, almost a month into Russia's offensive, it is clear that they haven't managed to completely encircle uh, the capital. So what they're doing, uh, in essence, is positioning their missile as well as artillery fire close enough so that the pounding can continue. There are also unconfirmed reports that the Russian army is forcibly deporting Ukrainians to Russian territory. It is unconscionable for Russia to force Ukrainian citizens into Russia. In her first American interview, the Russian journalist who risked jail by speaking out against the war says the Russian people oppose it. It's uh, Putin's war, not uh, Ru Russian people's war. Meanwhile, at least 10 million Ukrainians have been forced out of their homes. One quarter of the population are now refugees. Dale Hurd, CBN News. Well, millions of displaced Ukrainians are fleeing with only as much as they can carry. These refugees need food, water, other necessities, and CBN's Operation Blessing is working with others to ship those much-needed supplies into the country. We are here at the Operation Blessing warehouse close to the border with Ukraine. And this is a place from where we are able to receive truckloads full of relief goods and distribute them to the other side, to the Ukrainian border, and to our warehouse, which has been set up on the other side. And these goods will be a real blessing to the people of Ukraine who really need it right now because there's a shortage in the shops. We have teams ready in Ukraine to distribute these goods, so it's amazing to see how God is bringing these uh, strategic locations together and the people together to help make this happen. And it includes you as an Operation Blessing donor. Thank you for making this happen. It means so much to the people in Ukraine right now. Behind me is a truck that's currently being loaded with relief goods that came from Germany. And then this truck driver from Ukraine is currently um, is loading his truck with help from a forklift driver here to uh, make sure that these goods will be on their way to Ukraine very fast to help the people that need it most. And all of this is made possible by your prayers and by your support. And it's amazing how God provides for everything that we need. So we're so thankful. Thank you for praying for Ukraine and also for our team on the ground here. Well, let's look at just one of the areas where Operation Blessing is helping people in need. Uh, we're opening warehouse facilities. We're uh, contracting with trucks, as you just saw, so that we can bring much needed relief to the refugees in Poland, but also supply Ukrainians right in Ukraine. If we can get a map, we can show you all the different places where Orphans Promise, Operation Blessing are currently working. Uh, that warehouse is on the Polish side of the border of Ukraine. But there's all the different centers that need supplies and need relief aid. Uh, and the, the need is absolutely tremendous. These refugees are leaving literally with nothing. They need food. They need water. The, mother, the babies need infant formula. The mothers need diapers. We want to be there. We want to help them. And you can be a part of it. How? Give us a call and say, yes, I want to be a part. 1-800-700-7000. Uh, just say, I want to give to the Operation Blessing Disaster Relief Fund. You can also write to us at CBN Center, Virginia Beach, Virginia, 23463. You can also text 
OB Crisis to 71777, or you can visit CBN.com. There's a place on the website where you can designate your gift to the Operation Blessing Disaster Relief Fund and be a part of it. Be a part of helping those in need. Uh, we, I know a lot of you are praying for the Orphan's Promise st staffer who was literally kidnapped on the street. Uh, a hood was placed over her head. She was carried away. We don't have an update on where she is. Uh, we, we assume Russian troops have taken her, uh, just as they taken many people in that city where she was providing relief aid to Ukrainians uh, and is, is part of the forced resettlement or was some kind of retaliation for distributing humanitarian aid. We don't know. But we do know that God answers prayer. So please be in prayer that she would be released, that she would be safe.